we are assembling the spooky twist and pop card. So I'm going to start by assembling some of the paper piecing pieces. This is a spooky that pops out on the inside of the card and I'm going to just glue all these pieces down. You want to really watch your score lines on this. Make sure you're not gluing any of these pieces over your score lines because you don't want to affect how it's going to fold inside. Put our eyeballs together. Of all these pieces, the eyeballs are the ones you're going to have to watch the most here on the center piece because they come the closest to the score lines. <coughs> I'm trying to remember if it folds up or down. Let's see if that works. So you want your center to fold up and then fold them back and forth the rest of the way, okay? So that's how, that's how the center is folded. This is for your sentiment on the inside. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces on. First, it doesn't matter which order you put them in. And what you want to do with these, this center part is going to be mostly covered by the spooky. So just take it down here and 
and get your edge on these three sides even. do the same thing on the side. We're going to watch the three sides. Those are the most important. And of course making sure you're not going over your score lines there in the center. But you shouldn't be because this is now I haven't glued this on yet. It's just kind of sticking there. I'm going to put on these pieces. My um, cauldron I want to pop with foam tape. So I'm going to put that on last after I've completely finished the card because I don't want oh no, the extra bulk to mess up any of these functioning pieces. As you can see, <laughs> I'm a pretty messy crafter. We've got that. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. You can put this on the top or the bottom, wherever you want to be writing your sentiment. I'm going to put mine towards the bottom. And again, I'm just lining up the three sides, and I didn't do a very good job. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I think I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on the front. So your center has a line across the center and then an X. So you're going to fold a mountain fold, fold this up, and kind of if you hold it in your hand and you like pinch the sides in, that'll help you see that you're folding it the right way. So you want to do these in a mountain and your X in a valley. So when it's this way, just set your fingers in here and pinch it in and you'll see how you fold it. So you fold this way and then you fold your X this way and this way. Okay. And then you just kind of pinch that shut. That's how that closes. And then <clears throat> I like to hold this piece up so that I'm butting against it. And then again, I just kind of eyeball. Those edges, now I'm going to lift this up. <clears throat> and you only want to put glue in here. You don't want to glue those other flaps down or your card won't operate right. These sides here, you don't want to glue those down. This, don't glue that down. Only this part, almost shaped like a baseball diamond. Now do that here on this side too. this. So 
when you glue this on, you're going to be gluing the top half of one side and the bottom half of the other. So to make sure that you've got your folds the right way, I suggest holding opposite corners and making and just testing to see that it opens and closes. Okay, that's how you're going to make sure that you've got it right. Then you're just going to lay this in here, fold this back, and you've got your half line. And then this shows you how far over you need to go. <coughs> And if you do the bottom on this side, you do the top on the other, or you could do it. It doesn't matter which side you do which way. Like if you wanted to do this one as top, that's fine. Just make sure you do them opposite each other so that your card can twist inside so that it can close up. So I did the bottom over here, so I'm doing the top on this side. Sometimes you gotta work it a little the first couple of times to get it to go. Okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Now let's put our little pot together. big. I had changed the size of my cauldron and I didn't re-put my pieces on my mat so I have some bigger pieces from the old cauldron because I made it a little bit smaller. I'll cover that with bubbles so that won't matter. Yours will be right. And then just stay your bubbles around however you like them. I'm going to have mine kind of boiling over a little. this up with some foam tape. I think it'll look better with some dimension here.
Okay. There we are. And then the eek. sticking to my fingers. I'm going to put that right up in here. finished. I don't think I can pull this off. This should have been a little bit higher. And I think I've got an extra circle, so I'm just going to put this up here. Might cut a few more maybe and put them on there. Like it's boiling over. My, I have, when my mat gets unsticky, I use, um, I use some spray adhesive to make it stick better and it's making my center piece there stick together. So that's kind of a bummer. But there there it is. There is the spooky twist and pop card. Thank you for joining me.